Here's a small snippet of code where we've got a button here in this web page and we've got a paragraph with an ID of demo A here and then down at the bottom we have another paragraph with an ID of demo B here. What's going to happen is you're going to push this button and you're going to write some kind of sentence with the words Burger King in it. Blah blah blah, Burger King, blah blah blah. You're going to click the OK button and it's going to repeat what you typed in at the top and then it's going to repeat the same thing at the bottom except it's going to take out Burger King and replace it with Taco Bell that it happens to be highlighted in lime green coloring. So let's go ahead and look at the code for this. Doc type HTML, HTML opening tag, head. What we have in the head is we have a link to this shortcut icon. It's the smiley face in the tab of the browser. Then we have a title and the text is right next to the icon again in the browser tab. Then we have a link to an external style sheet and this is that external style sheet. It's actually the same style sheet that I've used for multiple projects. So there's a few things in here that belong for this page and a lot of stuff belongs actually for other pages. I did not need to link to an external JavaScript because there's one single script and it's at the bottom of this very HTML web page. So there's the end of the head and there's the beginning of the body. Here we've got a button and a button with an ID of demo button. So if you go to the style CSS uh, style sheet and look for demo button the ID is right here and this is the set of styles for demo button border 10 pixels green outset border radius 20 pixels margin 10 pixels padding 10 pixels font size 20 pixels width 440 pixels background color green and color white so that's how we style this button right here with white font on the face of it okay so this demo button has an on-click event and it's calling the function called my function and like I said, that's right here at the bottom of the page, right before the end of the body. Here's the script tag. So we'll go over that function. But let me finish going over the elements in the body. Also on the button, you have this long set of text that says, click this button and then type a short sentence using the words Burger King. That's what you see right here. Here we have two P tags for paragraph. One is P with an ID of demo A and inside that paragraph tag it says your original text will appear here. And if I click my refresh button you'll see that. Your original text will appear here. And we've got another paragraph with an ID of demo B and demo B's default text says your replace text will appear here. So down here this is demo B's area. Um, your replace text will appear here. Okay, so now let's take a look at the script. Function, my function. We're going to prompt the user for input with this statement right here. Var text equals prompt, enter text. So when you click this button, you get this enter text, and following the instructions on the button, I'm going to write a sentence with the words Burger King. My, if it'll let me, my first job was at Burger King. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to display what the user typed, which is what I just typed. And how we do that is we have document.getElementById, demo A, because this statement we're going to put in this paragraph that has the ID of demo A, uh, dot enter HTML equals text and text is holding the value of what I uh, typed in that prompt pop-up box. So my first job was at Burger King is actually going into the variable called text. So when we do this second statement right here we're filling this section up with what I typed. Alright so now let's go down to this section it says loop through the string looking for this specific string this specific string which is Burger King. If you find it, replace it with something else. So we have this 
for loop for var i equals zero as long as i is less than text dot length increment i. Then we have an if condition that this condition has to be true in order for us to continue with the um, statements inside of the following curly braces here. So what the condition is is this right here. If text dot slice i comma i plus eleven equals, we're using the triple equal sign, and then we have Burger King in quotes, double quotes, well, the slice is going to be starting off with zero because i starts off as zero, and then zero plus eleven is still eleven. So our slice parameters, if you will, will be starting at zero, which is the very first index of the first letter, which will be um, Actually, it should be the M because it's starting off looking from the beginning of this text all the way to the end until it finds it. So the length of Burger King, if you count the characters, Burger has six characters, King has four characters, that's ten characters, plus there's one space in between, so that's a total of eleven characters. That's why in this parentheses we have the I plus eleven. Okay, so if we find a slice out of this whole thing, if we find a slice that has uh, that length and it matches those letters and that space, then this is going to be true, which it is going to be true because obviously I typed in Burger King in that statement. So what's going to happen is text equals text dot slice zero comma I. So what we're going to do is we're, we're slicing Burger King out of this whole statement and we're replacing it with this plus we have uh, tags that I created and I named them highlight so if you go to the CSS and look for highlight my created tag right here I gave it a color of lime so I nested Taco Bell inside the tags highlight so that it would show as a, a lime green and then we concatenate everything that was after our Burger King slice. So all of the words before Burger King, then we're replacing Burger King with Taco Bell and making it green, and then we're adding all of the words that came after Burger King. In this instance, there's only a period, so that period should show up. And there's the end of the if and the end of the for loop. Finally, we are going to display the replaced output based on this for loop with the if condition inside. So we use document.getElementById demo b because now we're talking about this uh, paragraph with the ID of demo b down here at the bottom. Dot enter HTML equals text. So now we're going to put the new text up here. We're putting the original text that you first type in here. And then we do this whole thing and do the replacement, and then we do the replace text down here. End of script, end of body, end of HTML. So let me hit OK. My first job was at Burger King's up here. My first job was at Taco Bell. It replaced Burger King with Taco Bell. And you do indeed still have the period, so it didn't miss a beat. So just a little simple snippet showing you how you can text, uh, put some input in a prompt box, and then look for a specific word or set of words and replace it with something different and then display the new output.